Here's the recap of the Sweet 16 matchups in the Division I Women's Tennis and my predictions for the rest of the year because it's just going to be the three matches in three days the rest of the year. And I'll put the bra updated brackets in the description below so y'all could keep track as well. Obviously, the number one seed, North Carolina, won against the 16th seed, Florida 4-0. And number eight, eight seed, Pepperdine beat the number nine seed, Miami, Florida 4-0. The number five seed, Virginia beat the 12th seed, uh, Oklahoma State 4-1. Though they had to get a three-set three win at number five singles. The third, four seed, Texas beat the 13th seed, Auburn 4-1. So, straight four there. The number two seed, Oklahoma, defeated the 15th seed, Stanford, 4-1. The number seven seed, Texas A&M, beat Vanderbilt, 4-0. The number six seed, NC State, beat number 11 seed, California, 4-0. The number three seed, Duke, beat the number 14 seed, Georgia, 4-1. So, it's straightforward as you can tell on the rankings now my predictions for the rest of the way the number one seed north carolina versus the number eight seed pepperdine this is a pick em to me because last year in the ncaa tournament it was four three pepperdine and i could go either way i think it's going to be four two or four three but i'm going to go with the more consistent team and that's North Carolina, though I wouldn't be shocked if Pepperdine does beat them, to be fair. The number four seed, Texas versus the five seed, Virginia. This is a pick em to be, like I said for the other one. And you know what's more intriguing? The two best players in Division One women's college tennis are playing against each other, the best two pro aspirations. Emma Navarro from Virginia and Payne Stearns from Texas. My question... And the question about Texas is, can they win doubles against Virginia? And I'm going to go with, it's going to be an inflection point at the number one single spot. I think whoever wins that position wins the match. I'm going with Emma Navarro and Virginia on this one because Emma Navarro is just a little bit better than Payne Stearns right now. In the pros. The number two seed, Oklahoma, versus the seven seed, Texas a &M. Both teams have had the best rock season in program history. a &M losing one match, and now it's 4-3 to California. All over because of a bad overrule. While Oklahoma has only lost twice. And that was to Texas and North Carolina. Oklahoma will be without Anchisa Chanta, who's at the Southeastern Asian Games for the rest of the tournament. I think that's going to catch up to him eventually. I believe this is the match. A&M's top three is just good as good, if not better, than Oklahoma's. And yes, and their four through six is just tight. As well, and I do think it wouldn't shock me either way, but I'm picking four three. This is going to be four three or four two. I would very well be shocked if it's four one or four zero. Obviously, the number three C Duke versus the six C NC State. Of course, these teams have played against each other. They're in the ACC. They probably played. They definitely played each other at least once, maybe even twice. But I'm going with the hot team right now, and that's. Duke, they're more on a roll recently than NC State. And I'm picking 4-2 or 4-3. So that leaves the number seven seed at Texas A&M versus a three seed Duke. I think Duke wins the match. This is where A&M falls, is to Duke. So the three seed Duke is the national title. And then obviously the one seed North Carolina versus the five seed Virginia. Of course, this these two teams have played each other, and they both split, actually, this year. I believe they split. I'm picking North Carolina getting the revenge. 
So it's the one seed North Carolina versus the number three seed Duke, and Duke beat them. So, and that was the first conference loss for North Carolina in four years, which is insane. I think somehow North Carolina pulls it out, but it'll be 4 2 or 4 3. Like I said, I w these are just pick em matches from here on out because there's no clear, distinct advantage in some matchups than, than compared to others. Anyways, if you like this content, hit the like, subscribe button. I'll see you guys later. Let's get me to 400 subscribers or more by the end of this year.